Hi, I'm Phil McKnight from Breville. Today I'd like to show you how to make a great tasting cup of coffee from your grind control drip filter coffee machine. Coffee's just like any other food. Fresh is always best. Always buy quality, freshly roasted coffee. Coffee's at its peak flavour potential between five and 20 days after it's roasted. Always look for coffee that has a roasted on date printed on the bag and not a used by or best by date as you never know when they were roasted. Always buy coffee from your local coffee shop or from a roaster if you're lucky to have one near you, or you can always buy them online from a reputable quality roaster. Water quality is another very important aspect if you want to make great tasting coffee. Always fill the tank with fresh, clean water and avoid water that's got heavy mineral content. If you live in an area that has heavy mineral deposits, then try using a spring water or bottled water but definitely don't use distilled water or demineralized water. They'll affect the taste and also the way the electronics of the machine work. So I'm assuming you're using quality, freshly roasted coffee. The next most important thing is contact time. Contact time is the amount of time that the water stays in contact with the ground coffee, and this can have a dramatic effect on taste. Too much contact time will result in coffee that's overly bitter and ashy tasting. Too little contact time and the coffee will taste weak and underdeveloped. In drip coffee makers, grind size usually determines contact time. This is what the ideal grind size should look like. It looks like beach sand. Too fine and it will look like this. Coffee ground for espresso. If it's too coarse, it will look like this. Sea salt. So depending on the origin, the age and degree of roast, you need to adjust the grind size. To do this, you'll need to grind a small amount of coffee into the filter basket and visually assess. If it doesn't look right, make a small adjustment coarser or finer until it's correct. So next you'll need to set the amount of coffee for the strength that you prefer. Freshly roasted, freshly ground coffee always looks like you have too much. But if you're brewing a 12 cup carafe, you'll need to have around about four ounces of coffee or 95 grams of coffee. I recommend you start on strength setting four this should be a medium strength cup. If you like a stronger coffee, then increase the strength setting. Likewise, if you like a lighter tasting cup, then reduce the strength setting. So to make great tasting coffee, you need to set the grind size first. The grind size should look like coarse beach sand. It shouldn't look like rock salt or finely ground espresso coffee. If the coffee's still not tasting right, maybe you need to alter the strength. If the coffee's too strong, reduce the strength setting. If the coffee's too weak, then increase the strength setting. Also, you may want to try using a plain store-bought paper filter. This will give a more clean tasting cup as opposed to a more muddy cup that's delivered by the gold tone filter. So what if your coffee still doesn't taste right? Every origin and every blend are unique. They'll even taste very differently from roast to roast. That's the fascinating thing about coffee. So if you still can't achieve the taste you expect, you can use the calibration mode to reset the grind amount. You'll need a precision scale that can measure in one gram increments. Start by setting the grind size first, then place the empty filter basket on the scale and tear it. Place the filter basket back in the machine, select the calibration mode from the menu. Press the dial to start the grinder. It'll grind for 10 seconds. When the grinder is finished, weigh the results, basket and all. Turn the dial on the machine to adjust the amount of weighed coffee and press the dial to confirm. You can exit the calibration mode at any time by pressing the menu exit button. The grind control, coffee just the way you like it every time.